Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. I uh, just have a quick little video here. It's um, kind of by request. I rust a lot of things and I use a lot of rusted paper clips and stuff like that. And I have a video out there on rusting, but I've had a lot of people asking me questions about it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again and partly too because I need to be rusting some more things so I thought I'd just bring bring you guys along for the ride and I do it a little bit differently now so anyway I thought I would do that real quick and then you can see um, how I do it first off let me kind of show you what I do I have all kinds of things that I rust this is a for instance this is a little closure thing that I plan on using on a journal. Um, this is like a little lock thing that I got. It's a little metal piece. Um, these are some large paper clips that I rusted. Safety pins. I've got bulb pins in there. Definitely paper clips. I, I use a ton of uh, rusted paper clips. Um, these are those little um, metal pieces, the filigree pieces that you get. Those are really fun to rust and use. The little end pieces uh, for the corner pieces that you can use. I mean, just about anything you can rust. Now, I have to say, I did rust these brads, and the problem with that is, is that they, they, the integrity of them, they break really easy. So, I still do it, but what I do is I glue them on. I, I twist this the prongs off and I glue it on if I want that, that rusted look. Let's see what other weird things I have in here that maybe you don't think about rusting. Um, that's the majority of what I have. I do have other things, but I don't have them handy. Basically anything metal. But the thing is, not everything will rust. Um, some things have a coating on it, and then they they well, they won't rust. And you really can't always tell until you try and rust them. This is my little rust thing. I oh, I love doing these things. These are those. Um, uh, now these hold up pretty good. What I don't know what you call them. Oh, there's some sort of prong, prong something or other. You get them at the office supply store. These are great for making little uh, notepads with and stuff that are refillable that if you want that vintage look. Anyway, you can see the little rust in there. Um, now these have not been treated with anything. The other thing I like to rust is I like to rust these little uh, rings if you make uh, ring journals or use rings because I don't like that new look to them. But anyway, I wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing here. Um, I need to rust a few more things, and I thought what I would do is kind of show you what I do. Most of the time, I would rust things in a jar, and this is my rust jar. I've cleaned it out, but I think it has like a little rust stain in the middle of it um, still. And then, let's see. I'm going to use this time though, and I've used it several times before, and it still has rust in it. I don't think I cleaned it out real good. Anyway, um, this is just a plastic container, just like any Tupperware container. This is something I got at the dollar store, and I like doing it in this because different metals and different things rust at different, like they rust some rust faster than others, some rust differently in different colors, and I kind of want mine, um, different things to rust at different rates. So, if I have it in a big jar, then I have to dump everything out and pull out the things I want, whereas if I have it in this, what I do is I just take my tweezers and pull out the things that I want. I'll just go in there, or I can even do it with my hands. This stuff is it's not toxic. It's not going to hurt you. Um, anyway, my formula for doing this is I just use 
uh, 3% hydrogen peroxide. I use um, regular white vinegar, um, nothing special about it. And then I use um, just regular salt. Right now all I have is kosher salt, which is a lot more expensive, but that'll work, okay? It doesn't really matter what salt you use. Um, and actually, I might have to use some apple cider vinegar because um, I don't have very much regular vinegar left. And, well, hopefully it'll work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, I have a measuring cup here, but most of the time I don't measure. I just kind of guesstimate. But we'll go ahead and, and um, measure just because I know some people, they like to have things measured. So... Um, as far as what I'm going to rust, let me give you an idea of some of the things I want to rust that I haven't rusted before. These are those, um, like hair clip thingies. Um, several of them are stuck together. I don't know why they just came that way. So I ordered some of these and I have not rusted them yet. So I want to see if these will rust because I think these would be really fun to use kind of like a you know like a paper clip and we could decorate them and stuff like that so I want to see if these will rust take several of them in there there's a lot of them that are kind of stuck together so I have to deal with that so I'm going to take some of those let me move this stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm getting and let's see let me just get my little thing here i'm putting all this in the bottom of this I'm just going to throw the stuff i want to rust in there and then let's see here oh i have some of these washers and i want to see if these will rust because i have an idea of what i want to do with those i don't know I don't think they will because they look galvanized. I don't think they're going to rust. But who knows? Because I don't think this stuff rusts. But we'll see. We'll put a few of those in there. It won't hurt them if it doesn't rust them. So let's see. What other things? Oh, okay. I have. I bought a package of. Uh, just regular safety pins and I want to try because I need some different sizes I have a lot of big ones but I don't have a lot of these medium sized ones I'm going to put those in there put more you can get a lot done in a very <laughs> small batch of this stuff I'm going to put more different sizes in there I love this size right here. Use those a lot. And the small ones. I have a lot of small ones. I don't have a lot of the kind of medium ones, I think. So I have those in there. I don't think I need any more big ones. I'll put a few in there just in case. Okay, and then I have... These, okay, as far as paper clips goes, guys, different paper clips will not rust. The kind you get at the dollar store, I have tried them, they don't rust. In, in fact, a, a lot of them are coated, okay? Now, this brand, this ACCO, I've bought these in the larger paper clips, and they rusted perfectly. I don't have any more unrusted of those, but I bought these, and these are... ACCO number three. The reason I got these is look at how tiny they are. Aren't, isn't that cool? Now they're not as tiny as um, you know the Tim Holtz little ones, but those are you know they're kind of pricey. These are not that expensive for this little thing. And um, anyway, I want to try and rust these. I'm hoping they're not coated because the other ones of that brand weren't. So I'm gonna try some of those. 
because I love I love rusted paper clips so put those in there and then let's see here I have a ton of these I bought and these were not cheap guys these were um, safety pins and these don't have the backs on them let me show you I got them in two different sizes they were hard to find and they're not they're not cheap so and who knows they may not even rust you know who knows but they're co they're called coilless safety pins so they don't have like let me show you the uh, other ones see these have that in there and these don't and the reason that's cool is that you can go ahead and then put beads and stuff on them like on this one you you know this is where you pin it into something well you can't put any beads up here or anything because you can't get them up there you can't go past that you can't go past that but I always put them on the bottom in between and stuff like that but these will allow you you can take your little bead or whatever and put them up there and um, you know that way you can use them that way but anyway I bought some of these and I thought I would try them so I'm going to put some of these in there and I don't know you know we'll see what happens with these because I have no idea if they're going to rust or not and then these these are the smaller ones. Um, these are by it's Jewelry Designer by Doris. Now these were um, pretty pricey for a small amount. But anyway, I bought them. So hopefully we will be able to rust them. Who knows? Take a bunch of those in there. As I said, if they don't rust then they pretty much you just rinse them off and they're pretty much the same okay so now what I have I have a bunch of charms and these are all like the silver charms let's see here I don't know are these the ones I wanted to run I think they are yeah I'm trying to think I had separated them into different categories so there's just all different kinds in here that um, you know I have that I want to rust so and they're just all that you know that silver metal so I thought I would put those in there I don't think I was going to rush those. That's why it's kind of confusing me as what I was doing. And then I have some more things over here. Oops, let me get them. All right. Oops. Hope I didn't spill all those on the ground. Okay. Now this is like a little uh, pendant thing that you fill in, and I know it's just that kind of brassy metal stuff so I don't know if these are going to rust well or not but I thought I would try it because I have rusted things like that and here's some more these are kind of a bronze uh, metal thing and I, I wanted to have some that were rusted and this is like a rusted cog thing so I thought I would try I mean I uh, cog not a rusted cog but one you know with a little thing on there I've got this leaf. I've got a few other charms in here. Put those in there. And then let's see what else I have. Oh, I've got this thing over here. Full of stuff. And I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Just grab some things. And I've got this gold. These are my little Eiffel Towers. And I thought maybe I'll put some of those in there. Because I don't know how they'll do. They might they might do great they might not you know but I'm going to try those I have a lot of different little things in there who knows whether they'll do well or not okay but I like to 
have a, an assortment of different things that are rusted. And I'll put more in there. Who knows what will happen. Okay, so now that I've got all my stuff in there, I'm going to go ahead and put in, I'm going to put in the rest of my vinegar that I have. And then I'll probably mix it with the apple cider vinegar. So I, this is probably about a half a cup there, but I know I'll need more than that. So I'm going to put the apple cider vinegar in there with it because I think it'll work. I don't, I don't really see a reason why not. This is just more expensive vinegar. It's the kind people drink and stuff like that. Okay, so I have a full cup. And basically I'm putting in enough to cover this. Okay. Um, so that's one cup of the vinegar. Ooh, that's strong. Ooh. Alright, and then I'm going to put in one cup of my hydrogen peroxide. And this is, you can buy this at the dollar store. Let me get all of that in there. I should have just opened the top. It would be faster. And I'm not even mixing it, okay? And I do it about 50-50. Um, Alright, so now you have enough that covers it all, alright? That's the important thing. You want to make sure you cover it. And then I'm going to take my salt... And, you know, the salt situation, the more salt you add, the rustier it's going to get, okay? So I will start out probably with about, I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. And if it doesn't seem like it's rusting well, then I will go ahead and put, um, I'm just going to mix that up. All right, and the vinegar kind of breaks down the metal and the hydrogen peroxide makes it react and the salt you know obviously um, well it's like a little gnat or something in there that's weird okay get out of there um, it will uh, mix it up I think I'm going to put a little bit more peroxide in there because it doesn't seem to be doing a lot of reacting. So now I've got one and a half cups. I'm putting more peroxide in. And then maybe another tablespoon or so of salt. And you're not going to see it do anything right away. It takes a little while. Okay, so that's four tablespoons of salt. So I really like it to act a little bit weird right at first. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in there, and this is how it works. It will turn some things rusty within an hour. Um, other things may take overnight. Some things can take three to four days, okay? And you really, the best thing that I can say on this is to... Just keep checking it, go in there, look at it, pull things out. And what you will find is some things will rust faster than others. Um, some will get to a different patina um, depending upon when you pull them out. And also too, it's interesting, here I have my long tweezers. I usually use those because that way I'm not... I just go in there and I'll pull them out and take a look at them and see, you know, oh, okay, see it's already, if you notice, it's hard to tell on this because I already, I had some rust already in there, um, but let me see if I can find something clear that you can see it in. Hold on just a second. I'm going to pull some up in this little tray and you can tell by looking at it already, it's already turning the water kind of a rusty color. So it's reacting um, already, okay? Now some of this stuff, like I said, will take longer than others. Like this stuff, this bronze stuff here, okay, this is just a coating on this, okay? So that's why the vinegar breaks that coating down on it. And it'll start, like I can tell right now, it's already taking some of the uh, coating off. 
but these take longer than um, than the things with no coating. Like probably these safety pins, um, they probably don't have a coating on them, and so they'll they will rust quicker. Uh, usually, my paper clips uh, rust quicker. Now, now if you get the ones that, like I said, that have that coating on it, there are some that. Um, the stainless steel, some of them, they won't rust. I've had them in there, sitting there for a week, and they don't rust. Um, if you need, if they're not rusting, add more salt. Um, usually, it, it just requires more salt. And I put usually a little bit more peroxide than I put vinegar. Um, so I put a half a cup more. Um... <laughs> You know, there's no, you see it bubbling like that? That's the reaction that I wanted. If I don't see that reaction right away, then I add more peroxide. That's basically it. There's no real science to it. Um, I think the more salt you add, the rustier it's going to be. If you want it to be like just a, uh, a little bit rusted or that kind of bluish patina, um, pull it out sooner or add less salt but I just put it all in one batch and what I do is I check and I can tell which things are rusting quicker than others okay like I can tell right now probably let me pull these out that these paper clips are going to rust because let me show you you see how they've already turned kind of this brown color now if you wanted to if you don't like them all rusty, you could take them out right now. And let me see if I can find the other ones that were already. They fell down on the ground, so I gotta pick them up. These here, I'll show you. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper or something to put them on. Yep, I know a piece of paper. I know it seems crazy, but. Okay, let me see. Oh, I got wet stuff going on that. Okay, so if I take this and you look at this and it's only been a few minutes, you see the difference between the two? This turned this nice kind of brownish color. You could take them out right then if you don't want rust on them. Or maybe you want rust on some and then not on others and some of them you just want this brown color. There's no rust on that, but it took the it took that um, that shine off of them, okay? So you may want to just take them out now and say, okay, I like those, and then, or maybe take some of them out, and then maybe you want others to rust, which, you know what, I kind of like that idea. I'm going to put all of them in there because I really don't like any of them shiny. And then what I'll do is I maybe I'll take some out like that so then they'll have that nice, brown look to it or grayish kind of look to it but they look old they don't look they don't look shiny and new okay yeah I think these pins are going to rust I don't know well I don't know they're they, yeah, I can tell they're turning a little bit now but not a lot let's see these I can tell by looking at them. I see you can't see through there because you got all that fuzzy stuff going on. And this this little fuzzy stuff here, you see it's kind of getting foamy. It will go higher and higher. So I, if I'm going to leave stuff overnight, I put a lid on it and close it, and put it somewhere you don't mind it overflowing. Okay, because it will it will bubble up and overflow sometimes. Um, also, too, I save the rust water. I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I like to use um, the rust water to stain things with. It gives it a really cool patina if you like a grungy look. Um, so that's something to think about. I have it, I keep it in a jar and I'll just like I'll dip um, different material in it and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'm a little worried about these little hair clip things. They don't, they don't seem to be doing anything. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Well, no, they're they're turning brown. Let me see. Okay, well, they might be rusting a little. We'll see. 
they're not going fast but they might and that's where the vinegar what the vinegar does is it breaks it down there's like formulas out there that don't use vinegar but I find the vinegar kind of takes sometimes that coating off of some of the metals that you have so try that um, and also too um, things that are mechanical like bull clips I did a bunch of those and I needed to take them out sooner because if you get them too rusty because they have hinges on them they don't work that great so you can rust them just don't do it you know for that long yeah I don't know some of these may not rust but we shall see but as I said those paper clips that brand look at that see those are great those are perfect I may take a bunch of them out like that they're just perfect see and they actually don't have any real rust on them yet so that would be a great um, I don't know if it looks that much different than it did before see it's a little darker but that way you don't have that shiny paper clip right so anyway so I know that the bigger uh, ones and I bought these on Amazon I'll put the link on there if I can find it sometimes I go to look through my stuff and it's on there these are number seven two three two oh and it was a hundred I mean it wasn't I, I don't know I think it was some crazy huge amount that you could buy or this little one pack and I didn't want to buy a bunch until I knew that they would rust and they do but I love these look at that okay but the bigger ones in that same brand I know those rusted and I'll see if I can find those now see here's that bronze thing and I think this is going to rust so that's great because I like rusty and sometimes I don't necessarily want them rusted all the way but what this does is it ages things and some things will take longer than others so you just kind of look how look how foamy that is just in the time that we've been talking so that means you know by tonight that's going to foam up to here so I will put this in in kind of in a tub in my sink just sitting there just in case it overflows again this stuff is not going to hurt you it's vinegar and peroxide I wouldn't want to get it in your eyes I wouldn't want your kids to get it or your pets or your grandkids but it's not going to kill anybody so and it's not it's not like acid but you know it does make a cute, cool little thing and as I said, less it will rust less with less salt in there. But I like I, I don't I just put everything in one batch and then I pull out the things that I want, you know, at a certain point. And usually I pull different things out at different times. That's just kind of how I do it because they rust differently and I, you know, and as I said, I like if I don't want my paper clips rusted and I just want them dark or okay good I think yeah okay here we go here we go here we go here is um, I should have a paper towel out here too if you look at this if you look at this uh, safety pin it's now it's not shiny it's just kind of got that dark uh, metal look to it kind of like the paper clip did so if you don't want it rusty and you just want to age it, you can do that. And you don't have to leave them in there all the way. You know, that way, because um, I know some people don't like. Now on the rust thing, what I do is I rinse them off really good. And then what I do is I will spray them with the cheapest hairspray, you know, that you get at the dollar store, the Super Hold. And that does keep a lot of the rust from flaking off when you put it on things. Um, but not all of it, you know, some of it will come off. But um, anyway, I love doing this. It's a lot of fun. I want to see if any of those charms are, that's the big thing I want. Now they're way on the bottom. They sunk to the bottom. I can't get any of them out of there. Okay, let's see. 
because I really want some of those charms. And it's hit or miss with those because some of them are, are, um, some of them are, uh, it's not doing anything to that one, I don't think. Maybe some of the other ones. If I can get them out. You can't see anything because you got all this stuff on top, but let me see if I can get a few. Oh, here we go. Oh, lots of paper clips. Alright. Now well, that same one. I don't know. I think they might rust, but they may take a little bit more. And that's why I add all the salt and stuff because I know different things rust at different and you know I don't want to make different batches I just want to kind of I'm not seeing oh wow check this out guys check this out oh this is beautiful okay so here is my Eiffel Tower that was gold right look at that sucker that rusted it's not really rusty. It just turned this really cool dark color. It used to be gold. Let me see if I can find one so you can see. Look at that. Is that fun or what? It used to be like that. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it was all shiny. On the ones I did on my other journals, I... Um, I put to alcohol ink on them and made them darker, kind of a bronzy color, but look at that. That is so cool. Okay, so basically what I do at this point is um, I will start fishing things out of there and just decide which things I want to pull out that have already turned. Like I like the color of those, and if I want to get this stuff out, then I just kind of go through... <laughs> It's kind of a mess, but I basically go in with a uh, strainer spoon and pull out the things I want and then plump the other ones back in there. Look how, look at that fuzzy stuff already. See that? Okay, now see, I think that safety pin will show you too that it's already, already turning kind of a brown color. So if you don't want the rust part of it, then you can just stop it right there or keep going yeah let's see these are not they're turning darker so that tells me if they're already turning a color now then they're gonna rust it just takes longer some things than others and like see this this is that um, safety pin while it hasn't rusted yet it has already turned um, a darker color than it was so that that already tells me that it's going to rust. I haven't really seen anything in there yet that doesn't look like it's going to rust. And if they're rusting that quick, then that means, you know, you may not want to leave them overnight because then they'll be super rusty. All right. Now, the one only thing that I'm seeing that may not rust so far are these little hair clip things. But they, I don't know. I don't know because they're I can tell they're turning colors but they're not I don't know we shall see if they don't I'll let you know I got those on Amazon too and I may have to just go search and find some that will rust and the thing is guys if you wanted to if you know some things are rusting quicker than others what you could do, because this stuff stays good for a while, is you could put a batch of one thing in and then let it rust, pull it out, put your put your next batch of stuff in. Now, I didn't do it that way, um, mainly because I was doing this so you guys could watch and I just wanted to show you put all the different kinds of things I put in there. But um, you could do it that way so you know, okay, these paper clips take this long, these charms take this long, these hair things take this long and then that way you can just do it because this stuff will stay good gosh for days so um, I mean I've reused mine several times 
occasionally if you want to reuse your batch of stuff which I recommend because why not um, I just add a little extra salt and a little extra peroxide to it and it works so that is my rusting my stuff and um, that's about all I have to say about it it's a really fun thing to do you can stop the rusting process at any any point so that you don't have it super rusted in fact I'm probably going to pull a lot of these out of out um, pretty quick right after we, I do this video just because they've probably gotten dark enough for me so um, and then there's the others that aren't dark and then some that may ne may not rust but um, I'll let you know um, in the end how they all look but um, we have plenty of things I think in here that will rust very quickly so and I will let you see what they look like when they're done that basically they're gonna look a lot like the other ones I have but And I will say that I've given up on things before and then the next day I come back and they're they're all rusted. So I think what happens is the vinegar um, kind of works its way through the metal when it's sitting there and then it just it'll rust. So all right well that's it guys that's all I have. Um, I will tack on at the end of this video the things that are rusted okay on um, and what they look like so take care we'll see you guys